Okay, uh, I'm making a video on formic acid fumigator for controlling varroa mites in the honeybee hive. Uh, this is done from a West Virginia study by James W. Armin and Robert Noel. I did not come up with this system. Uh, I found it on the internet. It's very intriguing. Uh, I think formic acid is the way to treat varroa in the honeybee population. That is my opinion. And it is an opinion. I won't get into discussion on why I like formic acid. You can do a little research on it yourself. And uh, you can figure it out if that's what you want to do. This is a very neat system. Um, I will put a link to this paper. I don't know. It's maybe 10, 12 pages. All the information you actually need will be in there. So, with that, we'll make a... Uh, like I said, a video of this sort of help you out, and I've already used this system on one hive, and I was happy with the results. All right, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need two pieces, 19 7 eighths by inch and three quarter, two pieces that are 17 and a half by inch and three quarter. And this is where the literature is mistaken. They, I believe, say for 17 and a half for the inner fumigator. Uh, to sit on it is 18 and a quarter so three quarter by seven eighths 18 and a quarter and two pieces that are 12 and a half you also need that is a picture of the fumigator the outside part of the fumigator uh, built up I will make more and uh, show you exactly I'm not going to go step by step but anyhow so um that's what you need. All the measurements in the paper are correct, except the section of this is 18 and a quarter. I believe they call for 17 and a half. Anyhow, you need screen. I'm using fiberglass screen, staple, staple gun, and you also need a uh, uh, absorbent pad. I'm using a absorbent pad that I got from CVS. It's a bed. Uh, I'm not real sure what it's called. It's a sheet protector, CVS. You can get it at any local drug store. And once again, I'll make uh, several parts of this video, so hang with me. I'm trying to make it quick as I can. I don't want to get hung up on anything. If you got any questions, let me know. All right, be back in a minute. All right, uh, we're going to show the uh, stages of this. All right, this is the fumigator board that I made up. This is the first stage of it. I've put the pieces together. A couple uh, things you need to remember. you got a 3 8 over here, a 3 8 B-Way. 3 8 B-Way. This is the top. It calls for 3 8 right there. So you mark your line 3 8 down, 3 8 down, and this will be the bottom. Okay, uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay. Um, I ran out of staples on the last video. Anyway, I'm putting the uh, bed pad on. Make sure you have the plastic side up, quilted side down. It's a stretchy stuff. By far, I think this is the worst part. Well, not the worst, the hardest part of putting this together. So, staples. If you're making a video, make sure you don't run out of staples. Anyway, stretch it over. Work it down and around. If you're a pollster, you do a whole lot better than I am doing. What I think, I'll just mention what I think is genius about this. You know, once again, I didn't come up with this. I ain't that smart. This guy's up in West Virginia, did. What I think is genius is this 3X B way. On each side of the board. So basically we're done with the exception of the top. Okay, that's what you got. This is the bottom view. This is where you'll be pouring the formic acid with a honeybee healthy mixture. Alright, you said well why, why the screen? Uh, any that have used formic acid before on hives, you'll notice that they will run from it when you put it on. Not in this case. They like it because honeybee healthy. 
sure at the very beginning they might run a little bit, but when I took the screen or the board off of the hive that I treated, they were hanging to it. They wanted to get to the honeybee healthy. They loved it. All right, uh, let me put the top on. Splashing, nothing fancier about it. I didn't use a break or anything. I just cut it with a razor blade. What this does is keep some formic acid in. And, boom shakalaka, <laughs> there we go. I'm going to put, put it on with a couple staples. Bring that in a little bit better. Bring that in. If you've ever done vinyl side, it's called a pressure bin. I know I'm getting off subject and tired. I've been working on this for a while. Anyway, it says to screw it on there and that's what I'm actually going to do but just for video demonstrations I'm going to stay for it right now you got to work with it a little bit all right screws put a few screws on it to hold it These are just number, what are they? Eight by half inch screws. Nothing rocket science. Hey, the guys have figured this out. They're the brains. I'm just showing you how it's done. My interpretation of how it's done. I'll be posting this. I'll post the link to it. So basically, we are finished, my friend. There you go, a little. Not real crazy about that, but anyway. All right, there you go. This is finished board. Okay, finished board. Love it. See ya. Peace. <laughs> okay, for mixing the formic acid, this is the next step in uh, the treatment you need. Distilled water, formic acid. I got this off eBay. I think this was 13, 14 bucks. That much in shipping. Get it from a local supplier. In the paper, there's a phone number for a place in somewhere, I think, Richmond, Virginia, maybe. You need containers to mix. This is a two ounce syringe, 60 milliliters. I got it at the local uh, farm supply, I guess. Veterinary, they use something this big. Anyhow, this is all okay. You start off, you mix this, I mixed it half and half, okay? But we're looking for a 50% formic acid mixture, so half and half at 95%, you're at 47.5%. Yeah, okay. So, it's not a big deal. This hydrometer, pour this out. This is the second take of this video, or this segment. Hydrometer. Eight, ten bucks from your local brew supply. Get it off the internet, I'm sure. To get a 50% mixture, read it in the paper. Don't trust me, read it in the paper. It's 1.10 on a hydrometer. So let's, uh, we're out in the open. Keep water around. If you get a spill, get it up off of you. I actually etched my watch doing this last time. Can't see real good, but on the hydrometer, that's 1.10. That is 50% formic acid mixture. I'm not getting any smell from this for the simple fact of uh, I'm outside and a little bit of breeze. I got a little whiff of it, but nothing real bad. But do not breathe this stuff. It's dangerous stuff. So, what else can I say about this? Mix it up. Use a hydrometer. Suck water out of this with this. We'll use the honeybee healthy a little bit later. And... Uh, that's all I can say about that. If you have any questions, I mean, you can shoot me an email, but just, just try it. I'm not a chemist. I'm a carpenter. So, I ain't that bright. So, peace. There will be more segments coming up. We're going to get to treating today. So, see ya. Alright, these are the hives we're going to be treating. I'm going to treat five today. It's uh, August the 25th. It's 1129 in the paper, I believe it says three point one and six. Let's check a couple of these highs between. I'm not real into uh, 
tearing the hives apart, constantly looking at them. But this is where we're at. Okay, let's come over here. You look at this paper, it says for double deeps. We're running double deeps. I got my formic acid right here. It says 3.21 ounces, which is 95 milliliters. Okay, got the formic acid. Be careful, keep water around. Stuff is uh, not real nice. So we're looking for 95 milliliters. This goes to 60. That's 60 right there. So I'm going to need 35 more. We're in dearth here. All right, 35 more. It's 95 milliliters of that formic acid solution that we made it previously. All right, now we got to mix our honeybee helper. Add another tube, but I have misplaced it. So, anyhow, we're going to use the same tube. In the literature, it says to mix 95 milliliters for double deeps and to put 15 milliliters, one half ounce of honeybee healthy. Also, it says you can spray it with sugar water. Uh, it's up to you. So, let me get this off. There we go. Alright, 15 milliliters. I believe that's what it says. Let me double check. Yeah. That's for 85 milliliters, so we're doing 95 milliliters, so if you go 15 to 20 milliliters, let's go 20. Alright, that's 20 right there. All right, put it in there. Note about how high it is on the jar. On this jar, it's about the bottom of the logo. Thoroughly mix it. Looks like orange juice, doesn't it? Don't drink it. All right, let's go over here to the hive. The hive that I had up in the mountains of Sourwood. It's a pretty strong hive, actually. Alright, full of these. It does have brood. I checked it earlier today. Take your top cover off. Come back over here. We're thoroughly mixing it. It's as easy as this. Pour it on there. Oh, by the way, I put a bottom cover on it. And I reduced the entrance, as it says in the literature. Put this on. It smells good. Get a close up of the bees. You get a little bit of a roar. If they don't like it, they can come out. See? Coming out. So, uh, we've got a few coming out, but hey, this is what we wanted. So, basically, this concludes. Uh, I'm not going to. I didn't do any mite test. I had to form wing virus in these hives. Uh, Varroa, as we know, carries a form wing virus. It's pretty pretty heavy Varroa in these hives. So I've got the cover on the bottom. Entrance is reduced. Got this on the top. That pretty much concludes the video. I won't show you my drops unless you just want to want to see them. Shoot me a uh, email or whatever. So I hope this has helped y'all out somewhat. Formic acid has been used quite a bit. They talk about queen ball upsetting the queen. The hive I already treated. I went in and checked it. The queen, to me, does not look like she's been disrupted. The hive looked completely normal, looked like it had not been treated, with the exception of the varroa that I saw on the bottom board. So I hope this helps you out. If you don't like it, don't do it. Don't bust my chops over it. 
I'm just doing what they did in this paper. I think it's a, it's a pretty neat trick. So I hope this helps. If you like it, great. If not, peace. <laughs> do however you want to do. <laughs> All right. We'll see you. Peace. All right. Last segment of the video. It's been 24 hours since I put the uh, formic acid fumigator on there. I said I wasn't going to show you mic drops. Um, but you be the judge. It's one board. Second board. See quite a few mites on it. This one's a little bit better. Because it's white. That's your mite drop. There's your mic drop on that hive. So those are four of the five hives I treated yesterday. So this is the conclusion. Uh, it does not treat small hive beetle. Although there were some small hive beetle on the uh, bottom of one of the hives. So one bee's telling me good morning. Anyhow, like I said, I hope this helped. Uh, Excuse me. Some folks out. These are the bees that won't get me. Let me turn around. Alright, there we go. I hope this helps some uh, folks out. Like I said in the earlier video, don't bust my chops over it. I didn't come up with it. I think it works well. I got good dro mite drops. And uh, it's pretty easy. Bees look nice and happy and calm. They were actually hanging on the uh, fumigator boards, trying to get the honeybee healthy, but everybody's nice and happy this morning. It is a little bit of pollen coming in, maybe a little bit of nectar too. So, excuse me, with that, I'm about to get stung. Peace, and I hope this helped. See ya.